are better than excellent. In this video, I'm going to teach you present continuous tense. This is just to remind you, this video is the second video of the module on tenses. The first video was on simple present tense and its link is in the description section. So, welcome to my channel NK Academy once again. This is Nandini and you are watching the series Learn English Grammar CBSC Board. Fine. Now let me tell you this video will cover what is present continuous tense, when do we use present continuous tense, how to form present continuous tense and how to form positive sentences, how to form negative sentences, questions and WH questions in present continuous tense. And as is the practice, at the end of teaching, I'll be giving you a test. So take the test and the answers are provided in the description section. So let's get going. Let's see what is present continuous tense. Present continuous tense is also called as present progressive tense, something that is progressing, something which is continuing and that is present continuous tense. An action started at one point which is continuing now, it has not ended, it is going on and that action is supposed to be in the present continuous tense. Now look at these two sentences. I am drinking tea. What does it mean? It means that at present, at this moment, right now, I am drinking tea. Later in the evening, I might drink coffee or a cool drink, anything. But at this moment, at this point of time, I am drinking tea. I am teaching grammar. I am teaching present continuous tense. So, this sentence is in present continuous tense because I am talking about an action that is the action of teaching, that is the action of drinking tea, which is happening right now at this moment, just now. So, any action that refers to something that is happening at present, at this moment, is supposed to be in the present continuous tense. Suppose I say, I drink tea. I drink tea is different from I am drinking tea. I drink tea talks about everyday habit like every day when I get up I drink tea. But if I say I am drinking tea it means that at this point of time I am drinking tea. Maybe after some time I might drink coffee. So this is the difference between simple present tense and present continuous tense. Present, simple present tense talks about a permanent action, a regular action, but present continuous tense talks about a temporary action that is happening at that particular moment. So that's it, that's the difference and that is present continuous tense. Okay, let's see another example to make this point clear. I live in London. It shows I permanently live in London. That's my hometown. That's my native place. I live in London. But if you say I am living in London, it has a different meaning. It means at present I am living in London, but my native place is Canada. So point to be noted here is if you want to talk about the place where you live permanently, don't say I am living in. Say I live in. For example, I can say I live in India. But if I go to USA and stay there for a month, then I would say I am living in USA. Okay, is the point clear to you? Fine. We use this tense to refer present ongoing action. Something that is happening now. She is preparing breakfast for her son. Rajiv is completing his homework. 
Sanjyot is driving her car. All these three sentences show an action that is going on, that is happening right now. So, when you want to refer to an action that is happening right now, we use present continuous tense. Let's see another situation. We, we use present continuous tense when you want to talk about a temporary action. Something that's happening around now, around now, like not at this moment, at this particular moment, but around this moment. For example, Vanessa is learning guitar. He is practicing for the cultural night. He is writing a play for the college magazine. All these three sentences talk about an action that is taking place in the present period of time and they are happening temporarily. Now third situation to show trends. Now what is the meaning of trends? Trends means the changes that take place. See the example. The gold rate is increasing. That is there is a change in the gold rate. It is increasing. The climate is getting warmer year after year. Water bodies are gradually decreasing in number of big cities. So this is the this is the change that is taking place. So in that situation too, we use present continuous tense. Fine. All these three sentences, that is the gold rate is increasing, the climate is getting warmer, warmer year after year, water bodies are gradually decreasing in number in big cities. All these three sentences show changes both increasing as well as decreasing. So in that situation we use present continuous tense. Now there is one more situation in which we can use present continuous tense. And that is, it's a very typical example, just see, to talk about an action that's going to take place in near future. Remember I told you, present continuous refers to the action that is taking place present at this moment. But this situation is slightly different. Here, you use present continuous tense uh, when you want to talk about an action that is going to take place in near future. Example. Yeah, she is resigning from her job next month. She is resigning from her job next month. He is flying to Alaska next week. I am shifting my house tomorrow. So here we are using present continuous tense to talk about an action that is going to happen in future. This is a peculiar use of present continuous tense but you have to remember it too. Okay. Now let's see how to make sentences in present continuous tense. The structure would be stru subject plus is, am or are plus verb plus ing. Example, they are painting the wall. They is the subject, are is the helping verb plus verb in its ing form. At this point of time, let me tell you that the verb be has seven forms. Why I am talking about the verb be? Because we are using is, am or are in present continuous tense and all these three verbs are the form of be. Now, let us see what are the different seven forms of be and the seven forms of be are is, are, am, was, were, being and been. In the present continuous tense we use is, are and am. Fine. About the usage of the other verbs we will come to know. Let, let's see the usage. So as I told you here in the present continuous tense we are using the verbs is, are and am. So let's see how to use these verbs along with the subjects. I, I am eating. You are eating. We are eating. We subject are helping verb. 
eating ing form of the verb eat you are eating they are eating now when it comes to he she it i told you they behave a little different but here you see he is eating she is eating it is eating the child is eating children are eating now let's see how to make negative sentences in present continuous tense i am not eating you are not eating we are not eating they are not eating he is not eating she is not eating it is not eating the child is not eating the children are not eating so we have seen along with you we and they we are using are along with i we are using am along with he she and it we are using is and when it is plural like children plural we are using are the child is singular we are using is okay now let's see how to make short forms or contractions why do we use short forms i have already told you in the present simple present tense video i'll just remind you once again we use short forms for fluency like convenience of speaking fast instead of saying i am not you or i am eating you can shorten it let us see how to shorten those sentences first sentence i am eating what will be its short form i am eating i apostrophe and n we have removed the word e so i am eating negative will be i am not eating i am not eating then you are eating you are eating you are not eating you are not eating you aren't eating for you are not eating you can either say you are not eating or you aren't eating he is eating short form will be he is eating negative sentence will be he is not eating contracted form will be he is not eating or he isn't eating repeat after me it will be a practice for you she is eating short form she is eating she is not eating she is not eating she isn't eating next sentence it is eating short form it's eating it is not eating it's not eating it isn't eating so these are the short forms when you use the short forms you speak fast so for the help in communication for the help in fluency try to use short forms and remember children short forms are used a, during conversation and during informal situations if you are writing informally then you can use it now let's see how to make questions in present continuous tense am i eating yes i am no i am not are we eating yes we are no we aren't is he eating yes he is no he isn't are they eating yes they are no they aren't okay so that's what about uh, uh, the making questions now let's see how to make questions using question words in present continuous tense see the structure will be same only the thing is we are adding wh questions see some examples 
where am i going where are they going where is he going what is he eating okay so we are just adding wh word but the remaining structure is remaining the same okay children there is a very important point to note in present continuous tense and that is there are some verbs that we do not use ing with them for all the remaining verbs we were using ing like eating working painting teaching preparing leaving verb plus ing but there are certain words which do not have ing forms and that's where we generally go wrong so let's have a look at them and be careful about the usage of them because they are not used in ing form let's see the verbs which are used for your feelings for example hate like love prefer want wish these words do not take ing it will be wrong if you say i am hating him or i am liking him i am preferring i am wanting i am wishing all these sentences would be wrong if you say that because they don't take ing form similarly the words referring to your senses you cannot say i am appearing you cannot say i am feeling i am hearing i am seeing i am seeming i am smelling though we use it very often but from now onwards don't use that i am sounding i am tasting you cannot say i am tasting the food you have to say i taste the food or i tasted the food but tasting the food will be wrong now the words are referring to communication example agree deny disagree mean promise satisfy surprise don't use ing with them if when they are used as a verb don't use ing with these verbs now the words which are referring to thinking even they don't take the verbs with ing believe imagine no mean realize recognize remember understand you cannot say i am understanding that's wrong either you understand or you don't understand so you cannot say i am understanding so be careful similarly you cannot use ing when you are referring to the verbs like belong concern depend involve need o own possess you cannot use the words these words with ing they don't take similarly you cannot say i am having four brothers you cannot say that you can say i have four brothers you cannot say i am having a car you that's wrong because you can say i have a car you cannot say i am having a car because either you have it or you don't have it so the words referring to possession you cannot use ing fine now that's it hope you all have understood present continuous tense yes yeah if you have any doubts you can definitely ask me by posting the question in the comment section now is the time for the test take the test and see whether you understood the lesson or not the answers are provided in the description section so you take the test write the answer correctly and check your answers let's look at the test my mom dash talk to her friend right now one example i will do 
my mom is talking to a friend right now second dash come to school tomorrow third jason dash not prepare for his exam rita dash work on her project some dash wait for you he dash understand my problem angelina dash not help me today the fuel prices dash increase day by day what book dash read nowadays when dash she go for shopping okay so you have to use the correct forms of the verbs which are given in the brackets along with the suitable helping verbs that's all for the test and that's all for the video yes, i have already told you in case you have some doubts you can post them in the comment section and i'm there to clarify your doubts i'm here to clarify your doubts okay see you in the next video and that video would be about present perfect tense that will be the third video first videos first video was about simple present this is the second video which is on present continuous tense and the third video will be on present perfect okay the links will be provided in the description section so see you in the next video till then bye stay happy stay blessed and if you find this video useful share with your friends because when you share you grow bye see you soon